Smith had an article talking about there was an opportunity for a reverse referendum and 2,353 votes would be needed for that. There was uh, just about five days left, so it was a long shot, but several of us started. And uh, it was kind of a surreal experience that I had with this. Well, I'm on the Lynn County 2010 Census Complete Count Committee, and I had to pick up some items at the Colonel's game. And I was waiting for the lady I was going to meet, and I'm standing there with my clipboard with the signatures that I'm having to get. And as I turned around, there at the uh, stadium is the memorial for missing in action soldiers. And I'm thinking about the soldiers and the women and men that have dipped their fingers in purple over in Iraq and what our soldiers have died for, the ones that are there, the ones that are missing in action. We don't know what they've gone through. I assume it wasn't always a pleasant death, 99% of the time. And as I stood there looking at all that, it dawned on me that here I am in the United States of America, in this smack dab in the middle of Iowa, and I'm having to collect signatures to vote in five days. We were running out of time. We didn't have the 10 days. And today, Bob Reed said, well, it's your responsibility to find out. Well, I agree. It's our responsibility to know what is our right as citizens. But there's a lot that's in these laws, and we don't always know. So in the future, it would be really nice that there's something that we can just know, because that's the most precious vote that citizens have. And there are a lot of soldiers that have died, and they've written their signatures in blood. So I'd like to just remind you to think, this is, a vote's not a, a simple thing. This wasn't a simple thing that I went out to do. It wasn't because it was fun. It wasn't because I didn't have anything else to do. But someone has got to remember the lives, the blood that's on the ground that those men gave and women gave. <clears throat> and the other thing I want to do, this was one reason, I'm not the only one that it was important to. This was an ad that played by Mayor Corbett. Earlier this year, the Cedar Rapids City Council lobbied the Iowa legislature to take away our right to vote on local bond referendums. Unfortunately for us, they were successful. Hi, this is Ron Corbett. Sometimes politicians find voter approval of bond referendums to be a nuisance. That's too bad. Voters deserve a say when it comes to important decisions in our community. We faced this with our schools a few years ago. The district asked for a large bond issue. I was part of a group that cut that dollar amount back. After that, voters approved it. Was it easy? No. But did voters have a say? Yes. This year, we will choose between candidates who will include us in referendum elections and those who will not. We need elected officials to trust us, the people, as much as they ask us to trust them. With your support, I will be a voice for the people in City Hall, paid for by Ron Corbett for mayor. Mr. Mayor, we're asking you to trust us as much as you're asking us to trust the council.